Here we are looking at the calibration screen from a Trimble SCS900 data collector. You can see the control points are all checked as well as the horizontal and vertical residuals on this project initially. At the very top in bold print it tells us that one or more of our points are out of tolerance. Our residuals are 56 thousandths horizontal and 34 thousandths vertical. Those are outside of the tolerances um, at least the points are of what we're looking for and I'm looking here at control point 116 I have a horizontal residual um, that's over a tenth and that is out of tolerance the vertical is okay so what we're going to do is uncheck the horizontal component of this control point and then allow the vertical to still stay in if we look again it tells us now our calibration is in tolerance with good horizontal and vertical residuals. Now those residuals uh, as far as calibration is concerned and tolerance uh, can be set up in the data collector. Um, obviously you want as tight a calibration as possible. Don't get into the trap of trying to uncheck horizontal and vertical numbers to try to improve these if you're in tolerance it's oftentimes better to have these numbers which are absolutely fine and still have more control points it provides better control for the job case in point um, if I look over here at my horizontal residuals um, I'm going to start taking out some of the larger ones uh, let's say this one at 46 thousandths and I uncheck this and what happens is my horizontal residual drop from 32 to 29 thousandths um, it's a few thousands um, and it doesn't really matter to me it's more important to have these points included because it provides a tighter calibration that's critical that's what you need to look for and at this point I can now save this calibration and continue with the job at this point I've saved the calibration with the parameters that we had set on the last screen the calibration report now shows us that we have 10 horizontal and 11 vertical points. It gives us our horizontal and vertical precision that we saw on the last screen. But what I want to point out is something that I mentioned in the article, but it's better shown here on the screen than it is just typing it out. Um, I often talk about four zeros or four nines, and this is exactly what we're looking for, and that is in the horizontal scale factor. I have one point, and then I've got a group of zeros afterwards. If there's at least four of those, I'm in good shape. My horizontal scale factor is fine. It can also be a decimal point, and then at least four nines afterwards for a scale factor. You don't need to concern yourself with north and east slopes. Um, uh, those may come into play if there's an issue regarding uh, calibration and you need to get deeper into it and possibly talk to factory tech support. But by and large, if you can accomplish this, you've got a good calibration and now you're good to go.